Hey, hey, it's your girl Laura Messiah here. And in today's video, we are gonna talk about how you can use style to improve your self-perception. We're also gonna kind of flip it. It's more like using style, no, using self-perception to improve your style. It works either way. Style, self-perception, self-perception, style. Let's break it down, okay? Beliefs are everything. Beliefs are everything. Beliefs will make you passionate. Beliefs will make you angry. Beliefs will have you doing things even if you don't know that you're doing them because you just believe it in your bones. So what does this have to do with self-perception? What are you talking about, Lauren? You're crazy, you're crazy. On a conscious and a subconscious level, there are certain things that you believe that are tied to style. So we're gonna play a little game here, a little imagination game. I want you to imagine a fabulous woman wearing a perfectly tailored suit. I just see Kenzo on the <laughs> Wow, Kenzo, we're not even two fucking videos yeah. in. So I want you to use your imagination, okay? Close your eyes, and I want you to picture a woman wearing a perfectly tailored suit. Christian Louboutin heels, black Birkin bag, Tom Ford glasses, hair is in a sleek bob. This is a bad bitch, okay? What is your perception of that, of that woman? that she's professional, that she makes a lot of money, that she means business, that she's a boss, right? You didn't even know anything about this woman. This woman doesn't even exist. But just based upon your beliefs on what she was wearing, you think she's some type of way. You might even think that she's mean or cold. Like you have certain beliefs tied to that style. Let's do another one, okay? Close your eyes. Now imagine we got someone wearing leggings. I just watched this documentary. Please watch it, okay? It's a four-part documentary series on Amazon. It's called Lula Rich. It's about those Lula Row leggings. All right, so picture this person in the Lula Row leggings, okay? One of the, the miscuts, you'll see it when you watch the doc. They were churning out prints so fast that one of the prints, it looked like there was um, a male body part <laughs> on the leg. I'll cut in the image so you can see it, okay? So picture this woman. She's wearing those leggings, okay? She's wearing a sweatshirt with a mustard stain on it, all right? She's got on flip-flops, unpedicured toes, and her hair is not brushed, and yeah, that's her look. What is your belief around that woman? Maybe that because she loves these leggings so much, maybe she might live in a certain part of America, maybe you think she doesn't make a lot of money, maybe you think she doesn't take care of herself, maybe you believe that she's awesome. Again, your beliefs are everything. Your beliefs might not be the same as my beliefs around someone in that outfit, but we all have our different beliefs. So what does this have to do with your style? Well, your beliefs are tied into the way that you feel about yourself. So if you believe that a woman wearing a perfectly tailored, amazing suit and designer heels and bag, she means business, she makes money. When you wear something similar, you can actually take on those feelings and the way that you perceive yourself is going to be different than say if you had on those leggings in a shirt with a mustard stain on it, okay? Belief. Now there's other people that believe that wearing a sweatshirt and you know wearing a hoodie and jeans, while someone else's belief could be that sloppy, your belief could be, well, Mark Zuckerberg does it and he made Facebook and he's got money. So you might take on the belief wearing that uniform that you're old Zuck and you're about to make a bunch of money. 
So what I invite you to do is explore how your beliefs are tied into style and how you can start literally taking on some of those beliefs in your wardrobe to see if the way that you perceive yourself changes. So for me, when I'm working from home and I need to get stuff done, I need to be productive, I'm not going to wear the leggings and the mustard stained t-shirt or sweatshirt, right? I'm gonna wear something that makes me feel powerful. For me, it's not a suit, okay? For me, it's maybe a fabulously, you know, bright color sweater. You know, I love me some Gucci. Maybe it's a Gucci sweater, right? Maybe it's a bold lip. Maybe that's my belief on what means business, what means success. So just a little homework for you. Think about your beliefs in terms of style, the more empowering beliefs, how can you embody those? And the beliefs that are not empowering you in terms of style, how can you start eliminating some of those pieces in your wardrobe? Maybe it's time for a closet cleanse. All right, so let me know your thoughts in the comments on this whole belief, self-perception, and style equation that I've just thrown out for you. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video. And I will see you in the next one.